bang and I air it out. We slime and I bang it up. We bang and I win up. It's red and we pour it up. My diamonds, they glowing up. She wet and she wanna fuck. Be patient, I'm counting up. Alright, what is up, guys? Michael with RV Stuff back in once again. And today we're gonna be taking a look at another pair of off white Jordan 1s, the OG colorway from Yes Kicks. Um, I've reviewed two or three pairs from them in the past. We'll see if there's any improvements from their last batch. But before we get into all this, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Show some love by dropping a, or a like on the video if you're a new or a current viewer of mine. And last but not least, follow the Instagram link will be in the description. Also hit that bell, turn on notifications if you haven't already done so. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, for my OG viewers, you already know how I'm rocking with Yes Kicks. Great site, awesome service. Haven't had much issues besides like a few flaws here and there. Um, but all in all, I've been super happy with them. So, quick disclaimer, I don't condone buying anything shown in the video. So you guys do what you want with your money. Showing you what I, what I do with mine. Um, so I had to get that out of the way. So, let's get into it. Not going to spend too much time on this video because you've already seen quite a few pairs of these. So there's the information, you guys can check them out. Shipping with them is about a week, week and a half, a couple days for processing and I do live in Canada and with EMS it takes about a week to get here. Um, so yeah, let's put them to the side, look at the box. Uh, if you have any other questions and you're new to the channel, best way to contact me is definitely an Instagram link in the description. Shoot me a follow, DM me, I'll be happy to answer you. So let's take a look. You got the 10 Air Jordan 1, white, black, varsity red, 9.5. Suggested retail right there. Suggested retail tax is super small. But yeah, doesn't look anything. <clears throat> doesn't look like anything crazy. Um, if I do go silent, I'm probably clearing my throat because I'm getting sick yet again. It feels like the eighth time this year. I don't know why. I'm getting sick all the time. Gotta have more antioxidants in my diet or something. I don't know. Got the jump man on the on the top. One thing I will say definitely could be smaller. So that's one flaw right off the jump of these. So it doesn't look like that was fixed for the box because I am looking at the pair that I got from Will's Kicks and it is a little smaller on that. So for the off white ones, looks like you guys can go really anywhere, but you guys know what I'd suggest if you really rock with me. Um, yes, Kicks is a great site, don't get me wrong, but sometimes they do have their flaws with some stuff. So these are the laces you get. You get an orange pair with black writing, a green pair with black writing, and a white pair with black writing. And I will give them this, that the text does not rub off. So even if you try to scratch it, comes with a little stock X sticker. So it's nice that they included that inside out Jordan box. You already know off white paper, nothing out of the regular there. So let's get into the shoes. Take a quick look. Not really going to make this video any longer than it has to be, but this is what you get. So you get the stock X tag verified authentic. Doesn't even have the silver on the back. So that's kind of a mess stock X tag, but <clears throat> Whatever, it's there, it's all that matters. There's the off-white zip tie, 2017 off-white zip tie. That looks pretty good. This, it is glued down. I don't know if it's supposed to be glued down or loose, I keep forgetting, but you can definitely easily rip it off too. Um, so yeah, glued down, you can rip it off pretty easily, but that's what you're looking at. Okay, I'll show you on the other side for that. But toe box is one thing that definitely could be fixed on this. It is a pretty bulky toe box width-wise and uh, comes up a little bit too far, but nothing crazy. You could definitely beat these up. Off-white for Nike Air Jordan 1, Beaverton, Oregon. Font looks pretty good on that. Looks nice and splattered upwards, so that's good. They did seemingly fix the black material coming from underneath compared to my last pair, so it's also a good improvement. Got that. Just trying to give you a good overall look at the shoe. Let's see. Take this out real quick. So you got the nice little Jordan 
on there. Ooh. This this insole looks too big for some reason. I don't know if it's not put in there properly, but got men's size 9.5, the 10, halfway arrows. There's the size tag as well. For anyone wondering, got the black laces already in there. This foam looks a little thin, but it shouldn't be too thick, but I think it's supposed to be slightly thin or slightly thicker. Got the Nike Air. Red stitching. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Bottom of the shoe, you guys know how that is. So not gonna spend too much time on that. It is more of a darker red in real life. But my camera with the contrast I have and the lighting I have, <coughs> showing it to be a little bit uh, brighter than it is in real life. But no issues, doesn't really matter. As long as I'm telling you, you know. So there's a good look, doesn't look terrible. Font of the air is pretty good as well as placement. So I am happy with that. These are for a friend also. And the stitching, stitching's nice and clean. So that's another plus. So yeah, all in all build quality, pretty good. Don't really have too much to complain about. Um, left shoe, got the air in quotes. Got the swoosh stitched in there, glued down again. You can easily take it off. Uh, forgot to mention on this one, let me go over this. So you got the 85 with the quotations. That looks pretty good. Um, let me see if I can show you guys. Yeah, so you got the imprint there where the Air logo is and the 85. That also looks good. Then you see the Air Jordan Wings logo. I forgot to show us on the other one. You see the bottom of the R&D connect. So that's also proper. <clears throat> see on this one, bottom of the R&D connect. So that's also proper. So yeah, really not too much to complain about with these. They're not the best ones that you can get in the world, but they're not the worst by far. So I've seen much worse. Also placement on this is great for the writing um, from what I remember for legit checking these. Placement looks correct. See the C before 1985 is where it should be. Again, toe box is a pretty major flaw. It is a, quite bulky, but what can you do? Yeah, all in all, pretty satisfied with these. Um, like I said, there are better places you can get these from, but just wanted to see if these were a better batch or updated since, and there are a few improvements. Like I mentioned, the, uh, the black isn't shown here anymore where it was before, and it looked pretty tacky. So, suede feels pretty good as well. And yeah, all in all, pretty satisfied. Let me know what you guys think. I am going to be doing another review because um, I'm popping out three. Not all in the same day, obviously, but I'm doing them all in the same day, but they're not coming out in the same day, if that makes sense. But I'm doing them before I get too much more sick because I don't want to be making videos when I'm like sniffling every five seconds. So with all that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. More heat on the way from a bunch of your favorite sites. Again, I don't condone anything. You guys do what you want to want with your money. But uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys have an awesome day and I'll check you guys in my next video. Peace.